our story begins in Africa. Africa. Dark, brooding Africa, where each sound is ominous, each cry terrifying. <laughs> believed it if I hadn't heard it with my own eyes. A singing giraffe. It's incredible. Why, kid, you're wasting your time here. Look, sugar, the whole world, it's waiting with bait and breath to hear you. The world's voice singing giraffe. Fame, riches, no, Rolls Royces. Just sign here. Atta girl. Great, great, great. Should liver ailments be forgot and never brought to mind? Should stomach problems be ignored or slip disc in the spine? Drink Algonquin, rutabaga, tonic, my dear, and never have the measles. Drink Algonquin, rutabaga, tonic, my dear, it takes care of all diseases. <laughs> Twenty thousand a week, all recording rights, and all the hay we can eat. On the flower of Galward Gulch, a cowpuncher's sweetheart true. My looks don't amount to much, cause one of my eyes is blue. But one thing you can reckon, that when it comes to a neck, show business with my head in the clouds and my feet on the ground too tall to be kissed I'm the lonesomest walking in the lonesomest girl in this old town The mockery of it all, with the whole world at her feet. Poor Nellie was lonesome and rich and homesick. Until one day, her aimless wanderings took her to the zoo. <whistles> A married man. That settles it. And yet, when you're so lonely, and that wife, so on chick. But, but Nelly, you're ruining your career. Why? Why? There must be other men somewheres. You're wrecking an American home. And then, 
on the opening night of her new show, Nellie received the greatest insult ever accorded an actress. An empty house. The public will forgive anything in a star but infidelity. And so, the public soon forgot her. And when the last straw fell, she turned for understanding to the only one she knew who would understand. Is some daddum's widow what a widow has been. This was the cruelest blow of all. Poor widow girl. But for those of us who still remember her, we like to think that poor Nellie found her way home where perhaps among her friends she could learn to find a lonely but peaceful life and perhaps to forget. <laughs>